The first look at Red from Descendants 4 is absolutely mesmerizing. The title of the fourth movie is The Rise of Red, which speaks more about Red and her significant impact on the film. And what makes her so interesting is how she's the daughter of Queen of Hearts, a well-known villain but still her own person. Many fans are actually unsure if Red will be on her mother's side or if she will be going a separate way. However, like the past Descendants movies, Red is a child of a villain who wants to be on a different side. And that means she's a very rebellious girl who doesn't listen to her mother. Red is labeled as very intelligent. As a 16-year-old girl still living with her mother, the Queen of Hearts manages her rebelliousness unsuccessfully. So seeing how her mother would never approve of her behavior, Red enjoys creating more trouble and frustrating the Queen. But then what makes Red even more fantastic is that she doesn't just get in trouble, she finds a way to always get out of one. And that explains why she doesn't give up. If all of these descriptions and her relationship with her villain mother look to you like a hero thing to do, then you thought wrong because Red likes to think of herself as an anti-hero. And that's because she likes to do the opposite of what's demanded. Another reason why she always disagrees with her mother is because she wants to be free and stop the Queen of Hearts from controlling her. With Red being so opposed to her mother's reigns and almost every opinion, she only has a few friends, including Chloe. Unlike the past installments, Red and Chloe are the two main characters in Descendants 4. In so many ways, Red is very different from Chloe, especially because her mother isn't as lovely as Chloe's parents, Cinderella and King Charming. However, their friendship with each other is the highlight of the whole movie. Red and Chloe's adventure will start as they fear a coming coup in Oridon, which was triggered after a new royal baby was born. To stop the coup that could damage Oridon from happening, Red and Chloe have to travel back in time by using the White Rabbit's pocket watch to fix things and change the circumstances leading to the event. This is mostly what Red's interaction with Chloe would be about. Outside of this, Red and Chloe are complete opposites of each other, and the first time they meet and decide to work together is at the celebration of the new royal baby. Interestingly, before Chloe enters the picture, Red only has one friend who understands her. Maddox, the son of Mad Hatter who works for the Queen of Hearts as a royal inventor-in-chief, is Red's most trusted friend and teacher. One of the reasons why Red likes Maddox is for his constant support. Also, he can be very curious and loves to know whatever Red's up to, so Red updates him on everything. After learning about Red and Chloe's upcoming adventure, Maddox created a magical pocket watch to help them travel back in time and stop the event that could lead to a coup against Oridon. Zelly, the daughter of Rapunzel, is also Red's friend whom they will meet once they time travel. Generally, Zelly is known as the girl whose hair is magical and grows fast. However, not many details about what makes her bond with Red have been revealed. But then, she's one of the few people that Red can trust in Descendants 4, which means she's a significant part of the adventure Red takes with Chloe in the movie. Um, since Descendants 4 started filming, there have been a few images from behind the scenes which makes it possible for the fans to learn more about Red's appearance. From the pictures of Kylie Cantrell, who plays the role, it's been discovered that Red has long black hair with some red details at the front. Interestingly, some sneak peek into the set of Descendants 4 revealed that Red would also rock full red hair. Just like her mother is very much known for red outfits, Red also has her unique style, as one of her outfits has a red heart-shaped corset with a black leather skirt designed with roses. However, there's still another puffy red skirt that goes under the black. Red also loves adorning her dresses with a choker and a glove with roses. She also wears a golden tiara with a red heart. Many viewers are still unsure about how Descendants 4 is supposed to continue the story of the past three movies, since their plots and cast are very different, but the cast lineup and their characters have given a hint as to how the story matches with the previous movies. Also, the story is set at Oridon, which makes it even more relatable to the past Descendants films. What makes Descendants 4 unique is that some backstories will explain more about the villains and heroes that fans have known since the franchise began. Most of these backstories might be revealed when Red and Chloe travel back in time. The film would be more of an adventure inspired by Alice in Wonderland. While exploring the past as they travel back, Red and Chloe will stumble upon many secrets that would help save Oridon, and that's the same timeline in which they would meet Zelly as she attends Merlin Academy, a school most villains and heroes attended as teens. Before Oridon Prep, there was Merlin Academy, a school of magic, which is unlike Oridon Prep, where spells have been canceled. The school which Merlin created will be an essential part of Descendants 4 as viewers will get to see the teenage version of these villains and heroes. The fans will meet a teen version of Maleficent, Mal's mother. Her 
husband, Hades, will also be in the school, and how Hades and Maleficent connected and became lovers could be slightly touched upon in the film. The fairy godmother's teen version also attended Merlin Academy. And the good news is that fans will learn more about this character and how she became very much respected in modern-day Oradon. Younger versions of Prince Charming, Aladdin, and Jasmine are some of the few that fans will meet in Descendants for. The excellent thing about this is that Red and Chloe will have the privilege to meet these teen versions of the older characters and even get to talk with them and try to influence things during their time travel, so it will be more than just a usual adventure, but one that could go wrong if the wrong choices and interactions are made. According to Disney+, Plus, they are making Descendants 4 a very new and different type of story that will raise a new line of creativity, and that means it's also a unique experience for Disney+, Plus, like it will be for the fans when they see it. However, there is also more that fans can look forward to, the dance and music in the movie. One of the first looks at Red and the other characters on set shows that serious moves and music are expected by how they practice and dance behind the scenes. Kylie Cantrell, who plays Red, is a very familiar face with Disney, so she's a very talented singer and dancer who would bring a nice touch of music and organized dance steps, and her friend Chloe will be played by Malia Baker. However, her tutor and also her first friend in the film, Maddox, is played by Leonardo Nam. Zelly, another friend of Red, is played by Sam Morelos, and Red's dreadful mother, the Queen of Hearts, is portrayed by Rita Ora. Chloe's parents, Cinderella and King Charming, are also two exciting characters that viewers cherish, and their addition to Descendants has been an excellent relief for the fans. What makes viewers look forward to these characters is that Brandy and Paolo Montalban will reprise their roles from the 1997 Cinderella film. Melanie Paxson will also return as the fairy godmother in Descendants 4. Aside from Melanie, China Ann McLean is also one of the original cast from the past installments that would be reprising her role as Uma in the film. So while most original cast members would be absent, many new faces will be revealed. Dara Renee is a new face that fans will be seeing, and she plays Yuliana, a sister to Ursula and an aunt to Uma. Like Ursula, Yuliana is also a teen witch and a mean girl. However, only her teen version will be featured, and it's uncertain if she will act alongside Uma. But then Yuliana would have Hook on her side, and Joshua Colley portrays the character. He's one of the followers of Yuliana, which means he can also be very mean. According to his name, he has a shiny hook instead of a left hand, which he uses to fight and threaten if need be. Descendants 4 will show the Queen of Hearts, Cinderella, and King Charming as parents, and viewers will also be privileged to see their teen version. So, Ruby Rose Turner plays the young Queen of Hearts, and the younger version of this character is lovely and generous, which is a surprising twist considering how wicked the older version can be. Morgan Dudley plays the teen version of Cinderella, so the viewers will again be reminded of the 1997 film and how Cinderella grew up with her stepmother. So it's a vibrant cast, and the newer and older versions of every character in the movie impact Red and her journey with Chloe as they find ways to save Oradon. The Descendants 4 movie, which started with a working title of The Pocket Watch, has had many updates since then, and the recent news about it only gets more interesting. Filming began earlier in 2023, meaning Descendants 4 can still be released before the year ends. Although Disney Disney is yet to release the official date that fans can expect, it's estimated to be out in early 2024 at most. What do you think about the first look at Red and her adventures in Descendants 4? Share your thoughts in the comments and thanks for watching.